Welcome back, everyone, to Fire Emblem 3, Mystery of the Emblem, Blind Iron Man, send me Blind Iron Man, Chapter 3, Devil Mountain. Traveling from the frontier regions to Akanea, Marth's biggest challenge has appeared. The Samsufe Peak is a steep mountain that divides the peninsula into northern and southern regions. Since some unknown time, bandits have made it their base, and they started attacking neighboring villages and travelers. Raids, kidnaps, setting fires, their crimes are known to many. In fear, the people call the mountain Devil Mountain, and they call those gathering at Samsufe the Demonic Samsians. Now, in English translations, like official English translations, this chapter, at least in, I think Shadow Dragon, I know in Warriors, weirdly enough, this chapter is one of my favorite chapter names. It's uh, a brush in the teeth, because these are called the Devil Teeth Mountains, or something like that. I need two iron axes. But you can grab a hand axe. Because something nice about this game is that you can actually access the convoy and access the inventories of other units. From, well, from the uh, battle prep screen, which you couldn't do in Fire Emblem 1. You had to actually deploy a unit in order to access their inventory. That was a bit frustrating. Hurry, Miss Reyna. If you aren't quick, we'll both be finished. I hear the Arisha Knights have arrived towards the south. Now's our chance to escape. Please hang on. You can do it. I'm sorry. I still haven't found my precious relief staff. Julian, <laughs> forget about me and flee yourself. If it's just you, I can teleport you away to safety with my warp staff. How is that going to help? Do you understand why I betrayed them in the first place? Anyway, I will find that stuff later. For now, let's just make our escape. Hurry, go! Yeah, so in Fire Emblem 1, uh... Actually, let's just talk about Julian the Thief. Really good speeds, horrible weapon level, decent everything else. Apparently he has a really good strength growth for some reason. He has a door key, which makes me wonder if thieves can't open doors by themselves if they need keys in this game. And then we have Reyna with a warp staff. She has a warp staff, yet she's so worried about her heal staff that she wants to go back for it. Heal staffs are cheap and viable, warp staffs aren't. Anyway, what I was saying was that in Fire Emblem 1 you had to deploy a unit in order to access their inventory. And you also don't get any axes for... Like, after chapter... Like, s 7 or 8 or... After a pretty early chapter, the game just stops letting you buy axes. Entirely. It's not cool. It's not a cool move. I kind of want to give the steel boat a cash in, actually. I don't know if Gordon's better. I don't know if Hunter's remote, but for, for now, Kashim's better, and Kashim can still use it, I believe. So the plan is... We send Cain and Abel up north to rescue Lena and Julian. But yeah, so I had to deploy either Maji or Saji on a really late chapter where they were just getting completely destroyed just so I could uh, give Bart's extra axes because he was running out. So this hunter is pretty much here to prevent Sheeta from just talking with Navarre straight up. If we approach too closely, he can go into the forest and shoot her down. So, we have to wait in the mountains. That hunter is 
extremely annoying. There might have been a way where I could have deployed my units so that Cheetah could start further north and take out the hunter herself. But I'm not looking up how unit deployment order works. Okay, so it looks like Navarre as a recruitable unit moves last. If I move here and move Navarre up, that should block Sheeta from getting attacked by the hunter. Swordfighter Navarre! Why would a person like you become a bodyguard for these bandits? Huh? Who are you? I have no business with women or children. Get out of here. Please stop this unnecessary fighting and lend your strength to us. If you're unwilling, you can cut me down with your sword right now. I won't point my sword at a woman. Since you risked your own life to request for me, I don't have a choice. I will lend my strength to you. Unfortunately, I'm not able to trade the iron sword immediately means I have to waste Killing Edge uses. Mm, but just a little bit, and then I can trade Julian's sword over, or something. Mm, taking that hit's not good, Navarre. I thought you were better than that. And again, Weapon Triangle doesn't exist, so... There's that. We don't have a heal staff yet. I forget when we get one, but it's... Certainly not. I mean, never mind. We get one at the end of the chapter. <laughs> Why did I say I forget when we get one? Now here's the question. Can I trade more than one... ...time? Yes, I can. I'll take that. Because I'm not going to be dismounting Sheeta anytime soon. Why would I do that? This javelin should kill this thief. If it hits, which it doesn't. And Rena has nothing to do here, so let's run away. I wonder how experience is gained in this game. <laughs> We're healers. Because in Fire Emblem 1, healers gained experience for surviving combat. And that was something, certainly. You know what? Yeah, Mark is the little trade away. Oh, you're looking very lively, young lad. It isn't an easy task to reach a place like this. I will reward you with this axe. What do you think? It looks impressive, no? However, this devil axe is a cursed axe that draws blood from its user. It'd be best not to use it at all. Jagan, Torch. Devil Axe has nine uses. Has really, really good damage, but it has a... It's like a 21 minus luck percent... A 21 or 31 minus luck percent chance of hurting the wielder instead. Which is not so good. I kind of want to visit these houses, because I don't really remember what they say. You want to avoid enemy attacks. Aside from speed, you also need luck. Standing on certain places might also help. It's very useful. This is going to be a while since... until... Yeah, it's going to be a while until we actually hit enemies. Send Jagan back here, so he can catch up. Be wary of mercenaries. If you're careless, let's send you flying in one strike. Basically saying, hey, Navarre has a killing edge, look out. And yes, Navarre is a mercenary class, not a Myrmidon class, because Myrmidons didn't exist. I think that's everyone. Yes, it is. Now, I need to actually get better at using warp strats, because the warp staff is not something I have a great amount of experience with. Good, Navarre dodged. Oh, that's cool. Nice doubling. 
And here's an attack on Julian. Ouch. I think that's half his life in a single blow. These stupid archers. Hunters. Oh, he, that's not quite half his life. Hmm. Hit this guy. Able. Doesn't take damage, doesn't matter. Julian should be able to kill this thief? Okay, I have good accuracy. Aha! I do. 40 experience. Good job, buddy. What's my attack? So it's 11. Defense is 4. 13. His defense is 4. His attack speed is 2. But I will still double with an Iron Lance. If I hit with this Javelin... Which I don't, because of course I don't. Why would I hit with a Javelin? And since I didn't hit with that Javelin, then I need, still need to worry about Sheeta's positioning. And the possibility of Navarre dying. And defense. So, attack 13. My defense is... I hate not being able to just look at this. So I'm going to take 7 damage if he hits me. And then I'll kill him. And then 7 damage from the next guy. Can I not give... I gave the vulnerary to... Kane, apparently. This is not what I... wanted, particularly. Well, let's just kill this thief with Cheetah. More Pegasus Knight experience! So what I need to do is... Well, not what I need to do, but what I should do, rather. Is take this vulnerary to make sure Navarre doesn't die. Probably good if the brand new unit I got doesn't die right away. Your strength is great. Your weapon or magical damage will increase. Also, the effect of healing staves will be greater. So that's nice. Uh, <laughs> strength. Like, magic is a stat I don't think existed in Fire Emblem 1. And so the magic damage was just preset for the tome. Sisters cannot fight. However, they can use sacred staves to aid allies. Okay. So there's remove clerics entirely. Good to know. Hey, Barts, have I got the axe for you. So something I can do is I can sit Doga on that fort. We could even sit Barts on that fort. Not sure if Barts has the defense he needs to survive, though. I can get Doga to that fort, then I can just wait out the inevitable flood of enemies. <clears throat> oh yes, the enemies love retreating to their forts. Now that is w one thing that I think the Akanea games got right. Akanea, Akanea, whatever. Is that they made 1-2 range weapons like hand axes and javelins have really bad accuracy. Now that sucks a lot of the time, but I think when I say they got it right, I think that way because that means bows are actually useful. Nice crit. Not sure it was necessary. Strength, speed, weapon level, hit points. Another good level up for Abel. 
who is not able to retaliate. Yeah, this is fun. This hunter's been proving to be a, quite the thorn in my side. I guess he's been sitting on a mountain. Thirteen. Four is nine. Twice. Wait, why did I think that wouldn't kill with Cheetah? That's definitely a kill with... Yeah, because thirteen. Twice. Minus four is nine. Nine twice is eighteen. Why did I think that wouldn't be a kill? Am I crazy? Am I stupid? Do I not know math? Because that's an exact kill. Skill, speed, luck, weapon level, defense, hit points, everything but strength. <laughs> everything but strength. And I guess resistance. I'm not sure if resistance is an actual stat. Like, I mean, it shows up as a stat, but I'm not sure if it actually can increase. 13 attack. Yeah, Julian would die. So let's not do that. Instead, let's just kill him with Kane. Pop! Goes the bandit. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I don't actually know if I if I looked into Var's stats and everything. I showed them off. He's alright. I mean, I think he's certainly most dangerous because of his killing sword he comes with. He has high speed. Pretty good other stats, to be honest. Not completely outstanding, but pretty good. I guess compared to everyone else, he has a lot of skill and a good amount of luck. Strength isn't the best, though. It should be a little problematic. And speaking of problematic... People take forever to move. So everyone wants to be in that square, don't they? Did I hit this guy? Yes, I did. And it's Ogma or... Actually, Bart's is already at my highest level by far. I guess he starts level 5, but he's already level 6. It's kind of funny. It's a defense. His defense is only 6, though. That's not the best. Dun, 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 dun. Pop. Goes the bandit. Um, yeah, he should be fine. He should be fine. Because I'm pretty sure the hunter will attack Ogma, because Ogma can't retaliate. And then that will be the enemy's turn, and I'm not sure the other bandits will even be able to move forward. Oh yeah, you were just the person saying the sisters can't fight. So yeah, I guess they removed the cleric class entirely. They were just like, oh, it's only going to be these units. Which is, I mean, I guess Riss was the only, like, cleric in the game. So, not much real loss there. And they fit two games in one, pretty much, so they needed to save some room. But still, it's a little sad that you don't get Riss right away. You have to wait until Rena gets her heal staff before you can heal. Please tell me I didn't make a horrible mistake. Okay, any mistakes made are not entirely horrible. Oh. Bart's also just dodges. That works too. 
Say a phase. Whoa, that's actually a lot of healing. That was 18 minus 3 plus 7 plus 6. Wow, 6 points of healing for you, and you I know were hurt by 7, and that was a full heal. How much do these forts heal by? Or do they just heal by 7 points? Is that what it's doing? I don't know, but either way, I like it. These are good forts. Onward, Sheeta! I need to attack these bandits from behind. Well, we can finish this guy off with Bart's. Thank you for doubling, Bart's. That's why you're good. <laughs> One reason why you're good, because you have... Yeah, you have enough speed to double. Attack speed of 3. Does attack speed go lower than 0, or does 3 over mean you double in this game? I don't know. But I kind of want to find out. Um, well... That wasn't very good, Marth. Okay, so 4 double mean... Four, 4 over means a double. Agma's about to level up. Let's try and feed him this kill, eh? Good job. You don't miss like Marth. Skill, luck, weapon level, hit points. Anytime I can get more than two or three stats and a level up is good news for me. Now, if I remember right, the way this game was designed was pretty much that straight up the earlier units you get are better, and that's your reward for keeping them alive, is you have better units. There are arguably some exceptions. And then the later units you get are worse, because that's your punishment for losing units, is you... The, the designers still want to to give you a chance to win the game, they don't want to just, like, leave you without any units, but they just give you worse units because, well, I mean, you lost the good ones. That's why all the good units you get first. Hmm. Nice little axe fight going on. Player phase. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Come on, Marth, you can get some more kills. Again, like I said, I wonder if he gets the Mercurius. In which case, I should really be saving his level ups for later, because then he'll get double... Like, double growths. Strength, speed, luck, hit points. That is, if the Mercurius works the same way as it did in Fire Emblem 1. Which was incredibly broken. It was very good. Marth... And a very, very good perf. Ooh, vulnerary. I wonder if I can steal things. Does stealing exist in this game? I don't know. It's the Super Nintendo game, but at the same time, it's a Kaga game, so who knows what mechanic he's trying to throw in here. I'm not even bothering to move these people that are this far back. Like Gordon. Sorry, Gordon. Being really useful today. How much attack speed did the boss have? Zero? Good to know. Yeah, I have two attack speed, and I'm pretty sure that doesn't double, so maybe I need three to double. Eleven, or fourteen. That still doesn't one around him. Let's go with the iron sword. Come on, Oguma! 
I'm putting Ogma in danger right now. That was not a, the smartest move I could have made. Because now if he gets attacked and hit by all these enemies, uh, he might die. That is also assuming these enemies are smart. Now he's hurt down to one, he's probably going to try and find a fort to stay on. Which we can... We can be nice and give him easy access to that fort. And be clear, hey, the spot's just for you. All you gotta do is move through all of us. Okay. I might be playing really dumb here. I don't know. I'm used to Fire Emblem 1, which is who the heck knows what's going to happen whenever you do anything. Nice crit, Jagan? Jagan's gaining experience. Not going to level up much, but he's gaining experience. Which is more than I can say about future Jagans. They don't gain experience at all. Yep, and he's running. Running, 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 running. Oh, wow, he'll 14 attack? Doga, show this boss what's up, please. So you, so you guys want to die? I'll grant your wish. I think the one dying is about to be you. Uh, or maybe not. Fifteen, fifteen. So here's the test. If we have two more speed, can we double? I don't think so. We don't. Finish him off, Logma. Open up. Good job, good job, good job. What can we get here? This is the armory. What do you want to do? What would you like? Uh, actually, no, I'm pressing A too quickly. Exact same thing as in the last one. No thanks. No thanks. Defense, 7 defense. That's 14 attack. Marth can actually survive 2 hits from this guy and still be fine. It's actually nice. Of course, Marth needs to hit him himself in order to actually do damage and kill him. And he's going to recover since he's on the castle. What's my attack speed? It was three, right? Defense is six. Let's see, so he, should, he should do eight damage to me, and I might double. If anyone hits. Okay, so three is the magic number to double. Very good to know. But Maji or Saji was better. Maji has more room to grow. Oh wow, and has better stats. What the heck? Saji, why are you so terrible? Why is Saji awful? Top 10 reasons. Oh, sweet, I actually took his vulnerary. That he didn't use. Is that normal? Let's see, he has 14, and I have 7. Five defense, I think? Yeah, you know what? Let's just... Move Sheeta down here. 
everyone else can... Head forward. Get the Christmas calves up here too. And nobody else matters because they're not going to get here anywhere close to it in time. Six hit point healing or seven again, maybe? I don't know. Come on, it's 34 to 78. Is that a double crit? <laughs> Good job, Marth. Good job, Marth. Earned that not quite level up. Ugh. Remember you. That's fine, because I don't want to remember you. Look, Your Highness. Found 10,000 gold inside the castle, which the band has left behind. With this, we can make further preparations. Excellent. Tomorrow we will reach Orleon. Until then, please rest well. And there we have it. No one died yet. <laughs> Okay, doing well, doing well. Three chapters down. Let's see what happens next. Thanks for watching. This is Mithra Zenith, signing out.